So before that, panoorin po muna natin ang full trailer ng pelikulang Spirit of the Glass 2. Close your eyes na. Concentrate. May spirit na ba kaming kasama? ginawa ninyo. Sino ka? Pagpakilala ka. Sabrina? Minuksan nyo ang pintuan. Who the hell is Sabrina? Siya ang unang wife ng lolo mo ko. Nang tawagin ninyo ang mga kaluluwa, humingi ba ng kahit isa sa kanila ng tulong sa inyo? asking the technological developments from something that happened 13 years ago okay uh, compared to today oh naman oh naman uh, this is yung yung pelikula may 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 epektos no but uh, hindi naman hindi man this is not blade runner okay this is not a heavy effects movie it's a horror movie it's more playing with what the film elements but it it is definitely a, a great improvement from what we were doing in 2004 Okay. Yeah. Then I'm assuming that the the prosthetics is not something like that. Or... No, 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 no. <laughs> we just invited her here. Uh, okay. <laughs> she was walking around Thomas Morato. <laughs> she never saw me. She never saw me. Okay. So that she's here. No, no. That's not. Dina man. Dina man. Yeah. But if you notice, uh, all throughout this procedure, she will not smile. Yeah. Okay. So I'm saying after. Oh no. Okay. Uh, 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 Space out to me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, has any of you tried um, a call or uh, yeah cool. spirit the real spirit of the glass? Because I know lahat naman tayo na guys school and ano so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> diba? I mean yung iba diba? Like, try try ganyan. fun fun la. or uh, or did any of you have any experience with the supernatural like multo or encanto or whatever? Anybody can answer the question. Ako, um, kanina din kasi may uh, conference kami. I told them na nung bata ako sa school namin, kami ng mga classmates ko, nag-try kami maglaro. Pero, luckily, thank God, wala naman nangyari sa akin masama. Who else? Did you have any high school memories? High school memories? No, I, 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 I dabble in the occult. Hindi ako magkukulang ha. I read tarot cards. I have a collection of tarot cards actually. I read tarot cards and uh, yeah, I dabble in the occult. Na hindi na hati ang katawan ko, hindi ako makain ng atay. But I, I'm a firm believer of that. I don't do black magic, ha? Okay. Uh, 
I would like to ask Daniel, since you grew up uh, in a different culture than the Filipino culture, uh, is there any similarities? Uh, like, uh, do you have also the spirit of the glass? Um, actually, po, uh, I've never heard about the the, uh, spirit, the spirit of the glass, the the, the Ouija board. I only watched uh, some movies uh, from the states, the but maraming Ouija movies. But I guess. Uh, Meron din sa Brazil siguro yun, siguro yun. Uh, I'm not really sure kasi ano eh, first time ko na na naglaro habang ano, nag-take ng movie, di ba? Uh, pero I guess, I guess pareho naman, yan. Siguro pareho naman ang muto, Brazilian muto o Filipino muto. Siguro. Yeah. Iba-iba yung mga itsura nila, pero makakakarek. Hi, good afternoon and congratulations. I'm Albert Po from Chicanes. Um, yeah. um, so, kasi sa trailer, hindi pa clear sa akin kung ano yung characters nyo. Yeah. So, if you don't mind, if you could explain your characters also. Yeah. Starting from Terry Malvar. Okay, Terry Malvar. <laughs> Hello po, I'm Terry Malvar po. Um, I play the role of Anita. Um, isa po siyang bulag, pero mas marami pa siyang nakikita than what the human eye sees, um, I see entities, I feel um, spiritual. At ako yung magiging tulay nila para makapag-communicate sa isang spiritual or spirit na kailangan nilang kausapin. Hi, I'm Maxine Medina, playing the role of Lizette. Lizette here is... <laughs> Lizette here is the superstar. Mercado ni... <laughs> Yeah. Dibe and Chelsea for the Instagrams. Um, ako yung nag-provoke sa group na maglaro ng Spirit of the Glass. And doon nag-start lahat ng story. Hi guys. Uh, my character here is Jag. Siya yung boyfriend ni uh, Maxine, si Lisef. Um, para kay Jack, uh, yung pagiging it girl nilang tatlo, uh, ni Max, Christine, and uh, Ashley, uh, nababatayin siya doon, but uh, supported naman siya sa girlfriend niya. At uh, yun, at uh, yeah, kami lahat, meron kami, actually each of us have an experience na sa movie nga, na mumulto. So, alright. Hi, ako po dito si Bea. Um, ako po yung kami lahat dito actually. Um, si Bea, ang role ko dito, um, editor sa isang sikat na magazine. And then, kaibigan ko si, si Ashley and si Maxine. And itong dalawang kaibigan ko actually, sila yung dalawa yung, sila dalawa yung makulit. Sila yung laging medyo nag-aaway. Tapos ako yung bumabalansi sa aming magkakaibigan. So, ayun po. Ako po si Enzo, uh, boyfriend ni, ni Bea dito sa movie, at uh, barkada kami lahat dito. Kami parang yung mga barkada na hindi man niwala sa mga buto, at uh, eventually may, may nangyari, uh, we get a Ouija board coming from uh, family ni Bea, na lola niya, inyong para sa kanya, at uh, yun, and then a lot of events, a lot of exciting events happens na nakakatakot sa mga menu. Um, I'll be playing the role of Chelsea. So, sabi ni Maxine niya, um, kaming tatlong girls for the Instagram and then magbabarkada kaming six. Um, Enrico will be my boyfriend. So, sa aming tatlo, si Maxine yung superstar si um, Aa yung editor and I'm the model here. So, bale ako yung pinaka-maarte, commercial model. So, maarte, palaging on the go, palaging nagsa-selfie, picture, active sa social media and everything. Pinaka-maarte, yung bitchy. So, <laughs> yun. Maarte! Um, hi guys, my name is Enrico Huenca. Um, I'll be playing the role of Andre. <laughs> Um, part of sa barkada, um, I will be um, portraying the uh, boyfriend, the man of Ashley's character of Chelsea. Yeah, 
Um, and I, I guess my character is more na parang ano siya. Comes from a wealthy family, um, mentor whiny, mentor bratty, but I, I, one of his redeeming qualities is he cares very much for his friends. And throughout the course of the movie, you'll see that. So. Hello po, ako po si Janine Desiderio. Uh, ako po dito si Sabrina. Um, ako po yung makakausap nila sa kanilang pag-experiment sa Ouija board. At um, ako po dito ay isang artista noong 60s na medyo mysterious ang nangyari sa kanya. Kaya um, yun po, ang hindi ko makwento. <laughs> To direct, why did you decide na yung naglalaro ng Ouija board is ng teenagers? Kasi normally, yung Ouija or spirit of the class, they're always associated sa mga bata. Hindi, mga hindi naman. I, I, I know some people who really go into it for fun, uh, who are relatively in their 20s, okay? Or even in their 30s. I think, it, hindi naman, na, wala namang age range yan eh. Yung mga teenagers, they play the Ouija board na nabibili mo sa Toys R Us. Okay, meron ka na bibili ng mga Ouija boards at toys. Ayun mo nga yung talagang laro. But here, kung nakita mo yung Ouija board na ginamit namin, hindi siya laruan. Okay, hindi siya laruan. Sa ito na yun, ang bigat-bigat-bigat niya. Kasi it's a, it's a slice of a Molave tree. Okay, so you know that there is something mysterious about it na. At saka, I wanted to play the idea of social media addicted characters. Uh, yung anim na magkakabarkada, they're, they're not teenagers, but they act like kids. They're the people you find in Valkyrie. They're the people you find in Resorts World. They're the people you find in BGC. You're the, they're the people you find in Bull Club. They're the people who live their lives in social media. That's why they're the Instagrams. Uh, the character of, let me add, the character of Chelsea is being famous for being famous. Okay, so she's a social media. Para silang sina Gigi Hadid, sina Bella Hadid na naging Kendall Jenner, hindi ba? Who became names because of social media. And yun ang magiging milyo. Can you imagine all these techie girls and boys all of a sudden sucked into the world of the primordial spirituality, hindi ba? So it freaks them out. And why do you think po na parang ginagamit pa rin yung mga same or old horror elements that have been used already? Like for example, you know what, Leo? Because we want to be scared of more things that we are. The world is so scary now, we want to be even scared some more. Have you ever come to think of it? We are living at a time that we should really, really, really be scared. But we want to be scared by something we don't know rather than the things we know. Ganda. <laughs> Now, if one country decides to, you know, aim a missile at us, <laughs> di ba? So, but, you know, we want to be scared of something we don't know, rather than things we know. And last po, um, for the newbies, for Enrico as well, Maxine and Benjamin. <laughs> and then, um, how was it doing your, your first film? Tama ba? Or first film? And then, sabi nila kasi mas mahirap daw manako kaysa mo. I am an actor. 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 I am um, dating cemetery years ago. So, lahat kami, we grew up together with my cousins, ganyan. So, nagtatakotan talaga kami. And yung true stories na nakukuha namin is from our parents, na tumira talaga doon. True story siya. And yung mga, mga elements like yung doll, na gumalaw, nandun pa rin sa bahay. So, um, lumaki talaga ako na sobrang matatakotin. <laughs> Opo. <laughs> Kaya tinatakot ako nila direct sa said very natural attack <laughs> um well this is actually the second film I'm working on um, I, I work with direct Joey because it's a pre previously a recipe for love but uh, ito, ito yung utang lalabas. Um, but as far as experience goes it's been really great um, I, I've been learning as like like you said I'm a newbie I'm a rogue. 
and I've been learning a lot from you know, uh, my co-actors. Um, they've been teaching me a lot of stuff about the industry. Derek Joy has been teaching me, as has and continues to teach me about you know how to grow as an actor and um, uh, how just how to conduct myself and stuff. And I feel like working on this really made me grow as an actor, and I'm very grateful for the experience. What was your background, Palaprano? Ah, uh, you, you, you know you'd be surprised because uh, you would you ask him what course he finished in the U.S. and you'd be surprised. Uh, okay. Uh, well, my name is Rodrigo Nicolas Rodrigo Cuenca. What? Um, I um, I I I I grew up here. Uh, well, I was born here. Um, tapos uh, nagmove ako sa to the states when I was around twelve. Um, I got my high school diploma and I uh, graduated uh, my bachelor's there with a degree in media management, um, which is basically like filmmaking. And uh, that double major ako, I graduated with a theater arts degree. So yung background ko, I guess, is like um, I used to make student films and I used to act on stage at the same time back in the States. Um, then I came here, that's the commercial model ako for a while. Uh, I landed at Jollibee in spot with Ash. Um, that was after that, yeah. uh, I was fortunate enough to meet Drek and all these other cool people on the team. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Isa pang matinding blogger natin si Julie Pe. Bunyan pa si blogger ni siya. Oh, and really quick, um, just so it, just so you guys know, uh, one of my first jobs is actually um, an online blogger. Um, so. Respect what you guys are doing right now. Good afternoon to everyone. Hi, Dad. 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 Uh, this is a completely different story, but it's again about tukol din ito sa isang Ouija board, okay? Hindi yung, alam mo, very sentimental ako dito. So, yung, yung original Ouija board ng Spirit of the Glass, naka-frame, pina-frame ko, na, nasa bahay ko, pero hindi ko maitaas, na takot takot may naka-frame na, na Ouija board. Ito naman ngayon, bagong Ouija board na kasi bigat ko, pagkagawin kong coffee table. Uh -oh. Because, you know, I, I'm a very sentimental with, with my Spirit of the Glass series. Okay? Hindi siya connected. Hindi siya connected. Sige, malay mo, baka may Spirit of the Glass 8, no? Katalun nito ang mano po, hindi ba? Oh, sige, ang dami kong Ouija board. Okay. Thank you, Derek. Ha? Next question ko kay Janine. Baka sa dulo ka. Chat. Anyway, nagaganda mo sa corner, ha? Anyway, uh, Janine, pang ilang horror movie mo ito? Ah, uh, pangatlo po. Pangatlo. Um, pero first time ko po maka-work si Direk Joey. At first time ko din po na um, medyo, anong tawag doon Direk? Period. Yung, yung role ko sa isang horror movie. So, yung character ko po kasi sa 60s eh. So, kami po nila Aaron at Dominic. Flashbacks po kami. So, um, nakakatuwa kasi nag-shooting po kami sa Sampaguita Pictures na talagang yun naman po talaga yung shooting location o studio nila nung 60s. So, iba din po yung experience na ganito yung role. Thank you, Jenny. Direct ando pa ba yung lumang simbahan sa Sampaguita? Oo, oh, oh, nag-shooting kami to. Nag-shooting kami to. Alam mo nung binamitan namin 1960s <laughs> si Jenny. Sabi ko, oh my God! Hindi ko yung, yung ang ganda-ganda yung naka-hairstyle sila. Nang, imagine nyo yung sila Gina Pareño, sina Loretta Marquez, oh, na Black Cagot. Stars of 66 yung look nila. Ah, uh, well, last question ko lang. Ewan ko po kung um, sasagutin niya or hindi. Pero gusto ko lang po sana mawa-reaction niya. Anong tungkol dun sa makakatapat mo sa opening? Um, Ghost Bride. Ayan. O, oh, diba sa'ya? <laughs> diba? Diba sa'ya? Okay, of course, you know, at first you were a little bit taken aback by the nagkasabay, but then when you come to think of it, okay, alright. Then, Julie, iisa lang ang industriya ng pelikulang Pilipino. Maliit lang ito at dapat tulungan natin ang isa't isa. 
hindi naman wasto na ipagsabong ang dalawang pelikula at sabihin, mamatay yung isa at magwawag yung isa. Hindi, dapat magwag yung pareho. Dahil iisa lang yung industriya. O tamang-tama, November 1, the Scream Fest. Hindi ba? Dalawang horror movies magsabay, fine. And it's not, I really resent na ginagawang competition ito between me and my good friend Chito Ronyo. No, it's not a competition of directors. It's a celebration of Filipino horror movies. Okay? Saya nga eh. Saya sila nga Haunted Forest. Hello, good afternoon. My question is for Direct Joey. Ano pong masasabi nyo na nakawart nyo si Daniel Matunagan dito sa horror film? Na first horror film niya. Kasi swerte niya, kayo ang director. You are a very good director. Pakiulit po sa kanya nang marimit niya. No, actually, yung unang, nag-unang reaction ko nung pinagsama namin to, kasi kailangan magkabarkada sila, no? Magkamarkada itong grupo. Sabi ko, kailangan may dynamics. They have to act like their friends. Di ba? Kasi makikita mo na ilang. Isa yun sa pinakamalaking pagkakamali sa buhay namin na pinag-workshop namin itong mga to. Nandiyan pa yung nag-workshop yan si Rolly Innocencio na nag-workshop. Ang masyadong bonding ang nagkalap sa kanila. Nang problema kami dahil masyadong naging magkaibigan itong anim na ito. Ngayon ko lang nalang may Viber group pala siya. Siguro pag minumura-mura nila. No, but you know, they really were. It was a gem. And Daniel, Daniel, I have met before. Okay, I have met before. And that is the first time that I had a chance to work with him. And ang kulit, 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 kulit na tao pala niya. So, acting-wise, oh. Ah, just to add, it was such a privilege to work, okay? Not the first time to make a work, si Ashley. Okay, oh, I'm so sorry. 14 years old pa lang kilala ko natin. Ito, nasa contestant pa sa isang game time show noon. Judge ako, kilala ko natin. So, first time ko siya nakatrabaho. But grabe, you know, it's really great to, for the first time, I'm working with these people. With, especially, ang galing-galing, alam nyo, ang galing-galing-galing ni Janine Gutierrez, okay, ang galing-galing niya, okay? And ang galing-galing itong batang ito, okay? Lalo na sa finale si Nalo, si Terry Malga. It's such a privilege. Thank you, Dene. Sino yung next magkatanong? Ay, sige po. Ayun, pakilala nga ako. Ang Ross del Rosario was of Filipinos. What's up, Filipinas? Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Question for us. We all, siguro lahat tayo gustong panood na nakakatakot, di ba? Pero personally, do you really, do you guys really believe in this goals, this, eto, can you, can we, can you answer one by one? Si Terry Malva. Oh, si Jenny de Siderio. Jenny de Siderio. Kasi di ba, you're acting and if you don't believe on something, talagang magaling kayong hapa. Talagang convincing, di ba? Para yung sinabi ko po nung press camp po ako po, naniniwala po ako sa spirits kasi it's something that we don't really know. Parang isa siyang mundo na parang not even half of it we have discovered or we know about. Parang very vague po siya. So, naniniwala po ako kasi ang daming, ang daming nagkukwento po sa akin ng mga experience po nila at ang daming ka pong nanonood ng documentaries tungkol sa mga spirits. Pero personally, na-encounter mo ba? Wala pa po as of now. I don't like to. Puro kwento pa lang. Ako po, puro kwento pa lang. Si Direk. Ay, oo, malaking paniniwala ko. Kasi ang question lang, hindi ba? Kung walang spirits, then what's the point of being good? Hindi ba? Eh kung walang afterlife, eh bakit tayo nagpapakabayad, let's boogie. Hindi ba? There has to be an afterlife. And it's a question of saan pupunta yung ating mga kaluluwa sa oras na nagwakas na ating buhay, hindi ba? At may ilang na, more than the spirits, there are also demons. Hindi ba? And when you play with the spirit, sometimes you don't get spirits, you get entities pretending to be spirits. So that's the danger involved. Okay? Mamaya ko i-discuss yun. Ate? Ako, I never experienced, pero true stories, 
um, gusto ko maniwala, pero never kasi... <laughs> pero matatakutin talaga ako. Once na ginulat mo ko or takutin mo ako with yung mga mumu, ganyan. Sobrang natatakot talaga ako. <laughs> so, namin story sa house namin eh. Yung talaga, doon nag-start lahat. Sa mga parents mo. True story lahat yun. And mommy ko talaga nagkukwento sa akin. Ako po naniniwala po ako sa moto. So much so na tinanong ko si Max kanina kung nakikita rin niya siya. Kasi akala ko ito ang moto siya kanina. Kasi nakatayo siya kanina, so may spot pa siya eh. So talagang makapaisip ka, uh, wala na wala pa sama sa kasa. Pero yeah, I think uh, tama ka sa direct, if you believe in afterlife, dapat maniwala ka rin sa moto. At uh, sa, for me, like uh, sa bahay po namin sa Cavite, wala po nakatira for like 20 years. Every time I go there, Iba, iba talaga po yung feeling. I think when, sabi nga po nila, pag wala nakatira doon sa bahay na matagal, uh, may iba tumitira. So, I mean, yun, hanggang sa feeling lang po talaga siguro. Sana wag naman po sila magpakilala. At dahil sa movie na to, pag humingi po sila ng tulong sa akin, I will say no na lang. Para hindi <laughs> na matuloy. Ako, naniniwala po. Kaya... Why? Bakit? Dahil marami din naman ang mga kaibigan at uh, kakilala na nagkaroon na ng experience. And ako rin, nung bata ako, nagkaroon din ako ng experience na meron ako naramdaman at medyo may nakita rin ako. So, yun. Third day ka or something like that? Well, last. That was the last. First and last. So, yun. Yeah. Daniel? Ako po, naniniwala po ako sa mundo. Actually, uh, may nakikita ko ngayon sa show ng Rosie Rani. Mayroon? Salamat ako. Oo. Diyon. 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 Pero never ako nag-experience ng... 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 muto sa harap ko, whatever. Pero... Uh, yun know, I, I guess... I guess meron. Uh, Siyempre, may, may mga feelings minsan na mabigat, mabigat yung place or whatever. Kahit, kahit sa mga shootings namin, mga locations namin, talagang mabigat. At uh, yun, uh, I don't know, uh, sana hindi mangyayari sa akin. <laughs> um, yes, of course, I do believe in spirits, lost souls, yung mga di na tatahimik na kaluluwa dyan na nagpaparamdam. Though, never... Muto <laughs> yan. <laughs> Though, hindi pa ako nakaka-experience ng mag-play ng Ouija board or Spirit of the Glass, anything na ano, or nakakita ng multo, ayoko. Dawag kasi ako yun. But yung mga mabibigat na feeling, like yan, nung nag-shooting kami, nag-shoot kami sa mga haunted house, kahit maraming tao, sa siyempre old na siya. So parang may mamigat na feeling. Tapos, um, sometimes may nangangamoy. Alam mo yung amoy luma na. They told me kasi pag may amoy daw, parang may, oo, oh, oh, sa room, parang something po. Sa, parang ano. Hindi naman. Alam mo yung parang yung smell lang. Hindi lang maayos yung amoy. <laughs> Ikaw kasi yun actually. Si Dan na talaga yung amoy ko na. But you know, yung mabigat yung feeling, kasi syempre yung luma na, and mahala yung may history yung house. So yun, I do believe in spirits. Um, well, unfortunately, ako hindi po ako naniniwala sa mga lost souls. Mga may mulmul daw. Because maybe because I've never... I, 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 kailangan ko ng evidence kasi to, to really believe it, I guess. And I've never had the, ano, I've never had the, I guess, the opportunity to see a ghost. Uh, or, a multo or feel it. But I am open na para uh, para sana meron ni there's something after. So um, maraming ta. Um not really. Your... No, not really, but I'm hoping na there's something else after this. Um after life. I uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean it's something I can comprehend, pero you know. And si Janine de Sedaria. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> no, na <laughs> uh, ako po naniniwala din po ako sa multo. Wala pa po akong experience personally, pero um katulad ng sinabi ni Christine yung mga kaibigan ko, yung mommy ko, mga may mga kwento sa amin. At medyo praying po talaga ako sa ganyan eh. Katulad nung nag-shooting kami si Direk Joey, medyo nakakaramdam. So pag umuwi ako mag-isa Nagdadasal ako na hindi ako sinundan or medyo natatakot talaga ako. Kaya ako naniniwala talaga ako sa mga. Ang sinasadya ni Jerry Kapag na i-motivate kayo. 
Direct joke lang po ba yun? <laughs> May pinapatanong ulit ang reyna ng vlogger, si Julie Pepe Lepasha. Makihindihan ba natin ang reyna ng mga vloggers, hindi ba? Ano na yung mga difficult scene na encounter nyo rito sa shooting? Especially kay Janine Gutierrez, di ba? Ikaw yung, ah, sabihin na natin, Janine. Alam mo, kawa, ikaw, bugbog sarado siya eh. Talagang kawawa naman siya. Janine, okay. Well, ang hirap kasi magkwento talaga kasi parang, pero literal na bugbog sarado kasi meron ka rin mga fight scene ni Aaron at um, mga sampalan, sigawan. So medyo physical po talaga yung sa sa karakter namin. Pero hindi lang po sa akin, pati kay Terry Malvar, meron din po talaga siyang... Hindi, <laughs> ganito na lang. Yung may eksena sila na kailangan magmatch yung intensity ng emotion nila ni Terry Malvar. Eh, itong bata, talaga nung binigay, talaga yung, 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 yung bubunga ng bahay halos maalis. Dahil sa tindi nung dati. Nung pagpasok ni, ni Janine, kailangan i-match na yon, Hirap, hirap. And she's coming in from the cold, yung paupuin mo, okay, match mo yun. Hindi ba talaga sabi ko, ah, chat, sabi ko, ang galing ni Janine. Ang galing ng hukot niya para i-match. And uh, ang galing ng dalawang artista eh. So yun. I followed the same trope. Okay, it's deliberate na I followed the same trope. Okay, of spirit of the glass one. But may mga variation from the original from the original narrative arc. Okay? In other words, uh, it's the same but it's different. Okay, it's the same but it's different. How shall I put it? It's not a sequel. It's a reinterpretation of one. Okay, but then brought to 2017. How was it doing a family drama movie and a horror movie at the same time? Oh, yeah. 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 And the same rin, pag doon sa kabilang set, oh, sino mas masaya? Ngayon, ito ng mga to, sino daw mas masaya? Pero parang different siya eh. At ikaw sa pagod. May sinasabi to eh. Um, magkaibang ano siya eh, uh, happiness. Kasi doon, medyo mature yung ano, kasama ko. Tapos yung hindi mga immature siya. <laughs> hindi, dito, uh, puro mga, mga same, same group, same age, and yeah, except by Barry and by Ashley. Pero sumasabay din naman lahat. I mean, masaya, masaya ka naman, parehong set. I will just ask, um, are you still with Viva? Yes. Why po? May, may work tayo. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, pwede ka na, ano? Yes, yes. Okay, we're going to talk about it. Andrew Viva pa rin siya sa BAA na Viva. May follow-up question si ating naka-orange. Um, yeah, for Janine and Terry, because uh, really, yeah. So, you did legally blind na ikaw yung bulag. Ngayon siya naman yung bulag. So, ano yung feeling na parang, hey? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tapon sa sa'yo. Um, Una po, um, sobrang natuwa po ako kasi um, I, would, I, I get to work with Atinin again after Legally Blind. At siya naman yung naging peg ko para sa bulag. <laughs> kasi bulag po siya, kasi uh, siya yung ate ko sa Legally Blind. Na siya yung bulag, tapos ako yung um, guide niya. para ako yung walk, black. ako yung, what's this? Cane. Cane. Um, so, yun po. Tapos nagulat po ako. Napasa naman sa akin yung pagiging bulag. Bulag niya ni Grace from Legally Blind to now. And, pero medyo different uh, ex different experience ngayon kasi um, hindi, hindi na kami mag-sisters. Pero we're still connected in a way. Pero mas mahirap po yung ginawa ni Terry kasi naka-contact siya na white. So, mukha talaga siyang bulag. At wala, wala talaga siyang makita. Wala talaga makita. Kasi makapal yung contacts. At sa sobrang kapal ng contacts, 
At sa sobrang galit niya, tumalsik yung isang podcast yes. na <laughs> habang Excel. So, tinay kung may bloopers po kayo after the movie Pampatagal ng Takot, I think okay po yun. Tumalsik yung mata. <laughs> But in, fair, in fairness, uh, the moment, kasi parang yung ginamit ni Jared dito sa Blade Runner, the moment you put the blood at the contacts, blind siya talaga. And she was walking around Quiapo, na wala siya talaga makita, hawak-hawak lang siya ni John Manalo. Talagang blind siya. Okay, and with that, after this, uh, yung one-on-one -on -one na daw with the bloggers natin. Okay, so, direct invite. Okay, sa so November 1, okay, it's going to be the Filipino Scream Fest, okay? We are up to arts together with T-Rex is presenting Spirit of the Glass 2, The Haunted, okay? Starring all these beautiful people beside me, okay? But also, Chito Ronyo's Ghost Bride by Star Cinema. Please do support both movies. Please support Philippine movies. Uh, iisang pili, iisang industry lang tayo kung di tayo magtutulungan sino pa. Thank okay. you. Okay, Christine. Sana po, uh, supportahan nyo kami, Spirit of the Glass 2, 100. At sana ma-enjoy nyo itong ginawa namin para sa internet. Thank you. Okay. So thank you very much, Lagos. And today, time nyo for one-on-one -on -one with the stars and Spirit of the Glass 2. Hi, what's happening.ph? Ako po si Janine Gutierrez. At iniimbitahan ko po yung lahat na manood ng Spirit of the Glass 2, The Haunted. Ngayong November 1 na po ipapalabas. Directed by Jose Javier Reyes. Sigurado po mag-enjoy kayo sa color review. Hi, what's happening, Dr. H? My name is Enrico Cuenca. I play the role of Audrey in Spirit of the Last Two. I'd like to invite all of you to come see the movie in theaters November 1. Hope to see you there. Hi, what's happening, Dr. H? Hi, guys. What's happening, Dr. H? Please, please watch uh, November 1 na po, Spirit of the Glass 2, The Haunted. Uh, Star Christine Reyes, Dania Masunaga, me, Maxim Medina, Enrico Cuenca, Ashley Ortega, Janine Gutierrez, lahat may last name. Of course, directed by Jose Javier Reyes. Please watch at uh, November 1 na po. Thank you.